name is Adrian Nanchev, and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. Now it seems to me that there are roughly three kinds of people in the world. Those that make things happen, those that watch things happen, and those that wonder what happened. The question really is, which kind are we? Which kind am I? Which kind are you? Do you make things happen, watch them happen, or wonder what happened? There's an old, there's an old saying that, I don't quite know who said it because I've heard conflicting sources, that great people talk about ideas. Average people talk about events. Simple people talk about other people. Great people are always talking about ideas, concepts, philosophies, inventions, businesses, what they can do, things they could start, things they could create, things they could accomplish. I'm thinking of doing this, thinking of doing that. Always thinking about it, always planning ahead or thinking and pondering and strategizing. Thinking how they, what, what have they been doing wrong? What could they do better? What could they do instead? Average people talk about events. They talk about what happened on the news. They talk about what's happening on, uh, I don't know what else, the news and the neighbours. No. Neighbor, yeah, news mostly. Na yeah, news. And average people talk about other people. You know, gossip, gossip magazines, reality TV, and other things like that. You know, just arguably junk or useless. Bo both of those two aren't really going to help you. They're not really, not really uplifting you, not really teaching you anything, not really educating you, not expanding your comfort zone, not helping you be more tenacious. Not helping you be more tenacious. It's a bit of a waste of time. It's like, forget that. Stop watching the TV and read a book on business. Read a book on how to you know, sell better or do better things. Great people are always thinking about what they can do better, what they're missing and what they don't know. They always have a level of introspection and retrospection, thinking emotionally what they thought you know what was wrong what what they could do better thinking where they were wrong what they could do better what they could improve on even the actions was i right to do that was i right to do this thinking could i what was safer every now and then when i'm driving i, I realize that i made a bit um, every now and then it's like oh had, had luckily something didn't happen and it's like i wasn't paying attention then and it, if something had happened like someone walked onto the road could have been a problem so I learn these mistakes even when they're happening. What is called reaction, um, um, a reflection in action, where even as I'm thinking and acting, I'm realizing my mistakes there and then. And it's like, well, bear that in mind for the future. A bit more awareness here, a bit more awareness there. Look here, look there. Be conscious of this, conscious of that. Improving as I go along. Always having a level of introspection and saying, what can I do better? What can I do? What can I do instead? What am I, do what am I doing wrong? It's difficult for you to accept what you did wrong. But when you accept it to yourself, then you improve. Whereas other people, it's interesting how the poorer people get, the, the more big-headed they are. They think they know it all, and they're, they're, not, they're, hum they're not humble. They're bragging all the time. They're boasting. They're saying how right they are, what, what how great they are, and they have nothing to show for it. Little to show for it, little evidence. And they're not not really listening to the people, not really taking advice, not really doing anything to make themselves better or to correct themselves. Because everyone makes mistakes. It's just a case of how you approach that mistake. Some people, like myself, I think I did. I was wrong there. Mm. What can I do better? What should I have done instead? What's the lesson right there? Okay. Other people, they're like, nah, mate. I'm not. No, I'm not wrong. I'm invincible. Some people are not wrong at all because they've made so many mistakes there. That they've, they've learnt so much that they're just not wrong. Or they're not wrong in the ways you realise that they're wrong. They could be wrong in other ways, behind the scenes, for example. Or, you know, there's some mistakes, they're a little clumsy, stuff like that. You never really know. Well, people people in the middle, they're neither here nor there. They're not impressive, and they're not that bad either. They're, they're too good not to... They're too good to fire, and they're not bad enough to promote. Yeah, they're... they're they're, they're too good to, to not fire, and they're not good enough to promote. Yeah, they're right in the middle. They're obviously, arguably, from an, em, from an employer's point of view, they're the worst. Because you can't fire them, and you can't promote them. They're just, drag, they're just poddling along, doing their stuff. So, the question of the day, really, is, which kind are you? I like to think I'm a great person, because I'm always introspective, thinking, reflecting. Thinking what I could do wrong, what, what I've done wrong, what I could do better, how can I improve? 
I'm, I've got the checklist, planning everything out. I'm thinking and planning and strategizing. A lot of thinking and, and action as well. This video is action. This channel is pure action. After a lot of thinking, a lot of, of strategizing. So the question of the day is, which one are you? Are you someone great that talks about ideas, that makes things happen? Ideally, I think that's the best one to go for. Also, it's worth understanding and remembering that this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. So click on the subscribe button below and press the bell notification next to it for the latest uploads. How cool is that?